serving the narcissist up some cold revenge. Narcissists have a black and white mentality where you're either with them or against them because they see you as an object that exists to meet their needs. They need you to boost their sense of self-esteem and self-importance. And if you're not willing to do that, they see you as a lost cause. They see you as their opposition. So they will turn against you. And they will try to lower your ego and self-image. They will try to get you before you get them. But you can take revenge on them by not being triggered. By not reacting to what they're doing. Because they want you to react. They get off on it. It gives them supply. It makes them feel better about themselves. They enjoy it when you get angry. They enjoy it when you get upset. So don't take the bait. Don't fall for their game. Don't feed into it. If you wrestle with a pig, you both get dirty and the pig likes it. When you argue with a narcissist, you're giving your power away. You're giving them ammunition. You're giving them information that they can later use against you. You're telling them what bothers you. You're showing them what gets under your skin. So don't feed into it. Don't give in to the narcissist. Don't let them take advantage of your kindness. They will come back to hoover you. And they may pretend to be nice. But you cannot let them get away with what they have done. If you do that, they're just going to do it again. They're going to keep doing what works. So you need to document everything. You need to have evidence. You need to have proof. You need to have witnesses or people who support your case. Because they're very good at manipulating people. They've had years of practice. But no one ever told you about narcissists. You didn't learn about this in school. You were unprepared for it. Which is how they had the upper hand. They had the advantage over you. Because despite everything they did to you, they will still flip the script. They took everything you had from you. And when it was over, they still tried to take more. They dominated the narrative. They played the victim. They acted innocent. While they used you like an appliance. Like their personal ATM. They used you. They manipulated you. When all you wanted was love. Which is how they trapped you. Which is how they got you in a position where they were able to abuse you. They saw your light. They saw everything that you had to offer. But they weren't trying to build anything with you. Because they didn't have anything of value. They acted like they were something great. But they didn't have anything to give. So they wanted it all for themselves. 
because they knew there was no future in something that started out as a lie. So they tricked you. They fooled you. They took everything that was good about you. Without you being aware of it. And when they were finished with you, they discarded you. They threw you away like a piece of trash. Because they never cared about you. They manipulated you. They only care about themselves. You thought they cared about you. You thought you were something significant to them. But it was all fake. They deceived you. But you can get revenge on them. By removing them from your life. By going no contact. And moving on with the life that you thought you were going to have with them. You can still have that. They're just not going to be a part of it. And that is the ultimate revenge. To live your best life without being affected by them. Without playing their games. Without caring about what they think. Because you're not like the narcissist. You don't need to hurt them. That's not going to do anything for you. It's not going to make you feel better. It's just going to make things worse. Do you want to be defined as this person who hurt the narcissist? Or do you want to define yourself as someone who is living their best life? And the truth is, you don't even need to do anything to hurt them. Karma will take care of them. Their negative and unethical behaviour will result in negative consequences. If you give them enough rope, they will hang themselves. They will shoot themselves in the foot. You don't need to do anything. They're dealing with their karma every day. They're miserable. That's why they do what they do. That's why they have to manipulate people. That's why they have to cheat, lie and deceive. They can't just be themselves. Because they've been living in a dishonest way for such a long time. So they can't relax. They always need something to fuel them. To make them feel better about themselves. They're never at rest. Because it's unfulfilling. They're never satisfied. And you experienced that when you were with them. No matter what you did, it was never enough. They could never be happy. And that doesn't change when they leave you. They will always be miserable. They will always be dissatisfied. Because their actions are pushing them further away from what they want. They mistreat good people. People who love and care for them. People who would have done anything for them. And they're going deeper and deeper into a fake life with fake people. People who only value superficial things. People who do not look beneath the surface to see what is actually happening. People who live in a false reality. And it's just an unfulfilling way to live. They can never be happy in that world. But they don't know any other way to live. Because they've been manipulating people for such a long time. They can't just stop being manipulative and dishonest. They wouldn't know where to start. And they would lose a lot in the process by doing that. They would have to start all over again. So they're destined to continue on the path of destruction.
That's all they know how to do. That's all they can do. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coach.arcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.